Hello and welcome back to the main account as we are doing another build, this time for the Marauder 2 Hero Mech. Now, I was a little unsure of how I was supposed to build this mech. I don't really like its hard point quantities uh, that it has. However, I uh, asked a few people in my Discord, had a little bit of discussion about it, and I'm going to try something out. We're primarily going to be using the DACA of this mech as it does have four ballistics in the arms, and we're avoiding taking the energy hardpoint as it creates the, uh, the the great big dorsal fin that is a CT magnet for this mech. But yeah, let's take a look at the mech lab. So, we have got a light 350 engine, so this mech can move at a pretty decent click for at least a 400 tonner. 56.7 is pretty good for it. We have a pair of rotary 2s and a pair of LBX 10s. The main thing about this is we are going for raw DPS. We're just trying to get in on our opponents and then stare at them, holding down the trigger and just keeping this bullet hose going until they have to turn away because they're just taking so much damage. That's the concept. It's the same sort of thing that I try to do, say, on... Uh, if I go into my, my heavies, my inner sphere heavies. Oh, I already had it there. I believe my Marauder 3R with the, the heavy class of Marauder is the same sort of thing. This one uses triple rotary 2s to do that same idea. Just put out so much DPS that the enemy just has to break off because they can't stare at you. That's kind of the concept I'm going for this. But yeah, let's give it a try on the battlefield. The only downside I see of this is that these arms are low slung. So we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, it's not like the uh, the heavy version of this kind of playstyle. Oops, I didn't select it there. Where on the heavy Marauder, everything is nicely high mounted on the torsos and the arms are just backup lasers. On this mech, yeah, everything's pretty low on the arms, so we're gonna have to cope with that. But let's get onto the battlefield and see what this hero can do. And for our first match, we have gotten Caustic Valley. Let's move forward, probably into Delta 4, Delta 5, standard get out of the uh, low ground push. Now, I didn't go over my skills, but it's my standard thing. I like to go heat efficiency, durability, and extra ammo, fully maxing out all of the nodes on the right side of the tree of firepower to get all the goodies for ballistics. We're covering our left flank here as enemies could come over this flank. Uh, plus side of this mech is it does have a lower arm actuator, so I can aim up and I can aim hard to the side like that off of my torso, which is nice. Although, it would be nice if some of those actuators weren't there so that we can get a little bit bigger DACA. But we're just going to get up into cover here, get out of the main push, and more than likely start the rotato. Because that is what quick play is about. Let's see, let's get into a position here, top of Delta 4, and. Let's see what we can see. Wasn't able to spin up my rotaries that fast. There is a UAV up there. We'll take it down. A little bit of uh, rotaries into the hill there, but that's fine. NASCAR has started. We are in the race now. Shall we cut the NASCAR? off here. I believe they are ahead of us with the NASCAR, so I don't think we're going to win that way. We got enemy heavies right on our tail. Let's not do the NASCAR. Let's push ourselves right into the center here and just say, fuck it, let's go. Let's go. That guy, Marauder, coming in. Let's whip it around. We're going to hold the position here. Putting out our deeps. Little Puma in the back. We gotta get forward to get all of our weapons on target. That guy gets down to the hill there. Oh my god. 
the troublesome of the mobility of this thing also it's low weapon mounts it's coming into play oh I shot my ally a little bit there it's truly sorry duder but now we can truly get some hits in there's everybody's there I'm so dead here I'm gonna be dead in about 10 seconds come on get around this corner yeah, we have gotten into a massive potato rotato here, and we're dead unless we get... The only chance we have is to get around to the left here and sort of just do a mini rotato, go right into their sides. They won't be expecting the surprise from the flank. Maybe. And just get as much damage as we can downrange. Their own oblivious allies are blocking their fire. Well, I can rain freely here, but I'm going to go down. Yep. It just wasn't a good match. We got uh, left behind, rotated too hard. I called it out that we were getting pushed on, but things didn't turn out as we lost with an okay amount of damage considering the, the, the stomp that we will be getting. But we don't need to stick around to the, the results of this. Let's move on to the next match. And for our next match, we have Termaline Desert Domination. So we're going to head towards the center here, and the enemy lights are already in the center. We're going to see if we can light anyone up from this position here. Doesn't look like it. Everyone's a little too far away. But our light made it in, only giving them a few seconds. Spit some rotary tubes down. Might as well. So I really think that, like, like I think this mech is okay in terms of like the amount of firepower it has it's just man it's low slung it's really difficult to actually utilize on the battlefield compared to a lot of other weaponry out there the enemy could be going hard our left that's a typical flank on domination here so we're just going to get out of there yep there's a strike on our position not much we can do about it but just keep walking through and continue to just get to the other side and hopefully not get hit by the strike. Just keep on going. I'm going to go far right here, going to Echo 5 and possibly push into Fox 5. As we need these long straightaways so that we can get some Daka downrange. We don't want to be peaking hills. We want them to peak hills while we have the open ground. Just like this. Come on. Where be the enemies? poke your heads out. That's what you want. Put the down range. Put the Daka down range. Unfortunately, that guy's going to out-trade us is because we don't have the, uh, the the weapons to spool up that quickly. He's also got the UAV up, which we'll take down real quick here. And now we can push back in. Looks like the enemy's rotated around to our back with all their assaults and such. So we need to focus on taking the front. We're just going to go straight through this Jagger mech. See, we've made him turn because we're just outputting so much DPS on him. That's the whole goal of this. Is make them get Dakat so much that they just turn away. But that guy, that's a... That Huntsman, man, he is not the kind of person I want to be fighting right now with the two ATMs. He can do too much of a volley against me before I can get my rotary spooled up on him. So we need to push him in. Come around this corner where he doesn't have cover and make him hurt. There's also this guy in the background which will pepper a little bit. Remind him that we're here. Is that Atlas even active? Maybe. I'm going to tuck to the left here a little bit. Hopefully get out of range of that... ATMs. Get back on target. Come on, ally. Don't get in my way. Ally. Ally! I'm trying to dock it here. Took him out. Excellent. Took a component off that guy. He's pretty much through it, so I'm going to back up and go back around this way where hopefully stronger enemies aren't there. Here are the big boys. We're losing the fight back there, it looks like. So we're going to get into position. There's that Huntsman. He's come back up. We're just going to come around this corner. And Huntsman in the open. Nothing he can do now. Mass Daka. 
but there is the Atlas. Only thing we can do to this guy is just try to DPS him, but he's got that Alpha with his AC-20 and Serum 6s that can easily rip my side, my center torso out. Hopefully he's distracted now, we can come around the corner. And our ally takes him out, thank you ally. We'll ignore the Huntsman since he's like one tap, and I think he was cleaned up by somebody else. And we're gonna go back and take these guys out. Team is scared by three flankers. No, we're not, we're just killing the other half of the team. We were not scared, we were just busy killing other people. So let's go up to the side here. Our quick draw is going to poke his head in. He's given away that position there. Quick draw gets dunked. And are they going to come through this gap is a question. No, they're not coming through the gap. They're going away from the gap. We're going to push through the gap here. He's pushing this way, though. He's looking this way. It's rotaries versus rotaries. He's gonna get me because my CT's open. The only thing he do is just do damage, but he's shut down. Can I get his life? No, I can't. I get taken out beforehand, but we did an okay amount of damage. We did 835, so that's enough. I feel we're still gonna lose this match, unless. We have a completely fresh Art of Cheetah, though, with 5 ER mediums. You could do some really pokey-pokey sneaky things if you wanted to. Also, we got a Thunderbolt 9 SE. Pretty damaged. Actually, not that bad. His, his, he's only lost the right arm, which is the, the... Like, his only thing that's been destroyed, so that's not relevant to his build. So yeah, it looks like they got this. <laughs> Actually played a win with Kano Jashi. And it was in a vid. And so, uh, good game to our opponents. We managed to win this. It was a close one. Let's take a look at the post-game stats and see how we did. We did 339,000 C-bills with zero kills, but seven assists and three most, kill most damage dealts. 835 damage done. So we vastly improved on the last match, but we're going to do one more to see if we can keep this consistent. Off to the next match. And for our last match, we have got Domination on Grim Plexus. Alright, so the enemy is going to be spawning down in this area. They'll be moving up into the center. Well, not really center but a place where we congregate to fight. Uh, I don't think you see any of them coming in this left flank here. No, that's for the different spawns. We don't have to worry about that yet. We're safe to just blindly walk forward here for a bit. I haven't had a real good opportunity to show off pure DACA from this yet. Eh, but whatever. Sometimes you just don't get good setups. Or at least good matches, as we know that recently from the uh, Timberwolf video. Got the UAV kill. It's a free UAV. I will take it. So, standard Rotato tactics coming in. The enemy is pushing into the Fox 8 little corner here to go between the two pillars and such. Oh, but our Mad Cat Mark II just sort of stands there and delivers as soon as the enemy pokes his head out and just <laughs> causes that execution to go, oh hell no, and go back into cover. Let's take this opportunity here while the enemy is on the back foot and let's push a little bit to the left. And enemy in the distance there, a champion. We need to lead a little bit where we can pepper them with some Daka. best position for us, but eh, let's try to go across the center, kind of. I mean, really, in the end, we're just going to rotate, because eh, it's so predictable, but also so functional. Like, you can see there are our allies here are getting a nice push, and I want to be part of the people that are pushing in and doing damage. I don't want to be part of the people that are holding the line and getting destroyed. That's no fun. 
I want to be a shooter, not a getting a punch person. Look, enemy in the open that I can just duck a. Oh, that's so delicious. Give me those points, sort of feeling. That's how I am right now. But, ooh, Master M6, get out of my way, Nova! The DACA is wanting to support you. There we go. Three hits on this guy. He's dead. And I believe... Can we just do things here? Can we just, like, cut the center? Can we just do something silly? Maybe we can. Let's just do something silly. Yeah, let's just cut across the center here and be super duper aggressive. Hyper aggression. We're in position a lot faster than if we had gone around the very far edge of those buildings. And you yeah, just keep going. Screw it. Hold down the W button. That is what we're doing. Around the corner with no fear. the enemies here. There is a Bushy. He doesn't know! We're here! Time for Daka, Bushy. A pair of rotary fives. It doesn't... I think he's both jammed or both destroyed or something on there. Marauder, Scorch, you're Daka, you're the short-range brawl build, but I've got you beat when it comes to Daka right here. Excellent. He's also overheating a bit. We do have a UAV above us, but that is fine. We are getting mech butts and all juicy, juicy supernova butts. Beautiful. Get back into cover a little bit. Get some of that DPS off of us. Allow other people to start getting shot at. And then step back out for those juicy kill shots. That is how you do it. Supernova. Stare at me, I dare you. Uh, my rotaries are dead. Come on, rotaries. Get back to life. Okay, he's dead. Excellent. Continuing forward. My rotaries. No, my LBs are almost out of ammunition. But yay, we've had a match where we've been able to just shoot. And just be happy. Come on, enemy. Step out in front of us. I want to rotary this bushwhacker so bad. Or I'll just come around the corner and just go, Hello! I am here, face to face. Let's do this. I can't see anything. There's too many explosions, but it doesn't matter. Just keep pulling the trigger. Oh, we'll flip around back here. Hopefully catch this guy. Oh, we got caught up on the building. Allowed me to get him and get him on target. And good game to our opponents. Excellent. We managed to do some DACA and get some damage done. So it looks like maybe I could lose a half ton of rotary and get a half ton more of LB, and then it'll be a bit more equal. But overall, things worked out. Nice result, 416,000 C-bills with a killing blow, eight assists, solo kill, three kills damage done, and just about 850 damage. Excellent. But that is going to be it for the Marauder 2 hero. Thanks for watching and good hunting out there.